Hello and welcome to Case of the Day. I'm Dr. Crowley and today we're going to discuss an interesting patient uh, in case that uh, we just completed. Uh, this lady has severe dry eyes and she's been on multiple different types of treatment from restasis. We've even uh, performed lipoflow on her eyes uh, which only gave her minimal relief. She's had punctal plugs. She's been on a variety of different types of um, supplements and um, a variety of treatments. And so today we did a probing of all her um, mybomian glands and so we're going to go over what that is. This is sort of a newer treatment for severe cases of dry eyes and so we're going to discuss a little bit about dry eyes and then what the probing does. <clears throat> so people who have dry eyes there's different types. The most common type is what we call evaporative dry eye due to mybomian gland disease or dysfunction, which is what she had. So your tear film is composed of three layers, basic layers. A bottom mucus layer, then a water layer, and then an oily layer. The oily layer covers over the water layer and protects it from evaporating from the surface of your eye, and oil is also a lubricant. And so in people with mybomian gland disease, they are, have a uh, very low level of the lipid layer to their tear film, which then allows the tears to evaporate off the surface of their eye. The um, mybomian glands are located in the eyelid, and they secrete the oil into the tear film. So we're going to show you a little image here. And so this shows you on the um, <clears throat> left-hand side of the, of the photograph, an image of the mybomian glands in the lid and then the middle, middle is just a picture. And so when we look at these glands, they're normal at the top and all the glands are visible. They just gradually go down due to chronic inflammation over years of time. These glands start scarring and closing down and getting scarred shut where they no longer function. And so what we did actually is to go to each opening on the gland where it opens on the edge of the lid and actually stick a probe down in and try to break any scarring that's preventing the oil from getting out in those glands. And so uh, this procedure has had a success rate of, of compared to other things of, of doing very well. And so it's typically not done in people who have mild dry eyes or mybomian gland disease, but people who have had severe. So in my particular case, I try most other things first, such as restasis, uh, lipoflow treatment, which, the, which is the only approved, FDA approved treatment for mybomian gland disease. And uh, we put people on hydro eye pills, special teardrops that have the oil in it, hot compresses to try to calm the eyelids down and even doxycycline or tetracycline, which is also to keep any inflammation and maybe slow grade chronic infection down in the lids. And then now we've added this mybomian gland probing to the process and we're hoping to start having good results with this. And people who are sort of at their uh, end, end of the road that there's nothing else has worked and they're really miserable and unhappy with the, how their eyes feel. And so uh, we'll, we'll give a report later on how these people start doing with the mybomian gland probing. So if you have any questions about dry eyes and any of the types of treatments, you can always contact us through the website uh, and we'll be happy to try to answer those questions. If not, may God bless you with healthy eyes and great vision.